Welcome everybody to the State Departments of the Royal Hospital Chelsea. Please enter. Now the State Departments are so called because in the early days of the hospital and the monarch would travel by barge, royal barge on the Thames and he would arrive at the South Grounds and he and his entourage would come to the hospital into this room where they would uh, refresh themselves uh, take a small rest before proceeding to the octagon where the carriages would be waiting on the north front to take them off to Kensington Palace or St James's Palace or whatever their next destination was. This is a painting of uh, Charles I and his wife uh, Henrietta Maria of France and his two eldest children, Charles, later to be Charles II by his right hand, and Mary, his sister, being held by uh, uh, Maria. Um, it is attributable to Anthony van Dyck and it is known as the Great Peace. The only other uh, copy and the, uh, is in Windsor Castle, which is part of the Queen's collection. Charles I was uh, <coughs> a monarch of England and he believed in the absolute right of the monarch to rule uh, and he frequently clashed with Parliament to the extent that, uh, that he finally uh, moved, marched his troops into Parliament to arrest them all. And this is the act that uh, triggered the English Civil War. During the period of authoritarian rule that existed under Cromwell, um, <clears throat> Charles II uh, was living in France with his cousin, Louis XIV. And it was there he was influenced by Louis' decision to create Hotel La Invalides, uh, which is the uh, refuge and the hospital for his war veterans, his veteran soldiers. Mary, William, this is William of Orange, and he was very successful as the king. The country went through a peaceful time. Everything was nice and calm. There were no clashes between Protestants and Catholics and uh, the Parliament and the monarch. And throughout the building of the hospital, King William was the third monarch and it was completed during his reign or the reign of him and Queen Mary. What always fascinates me about these paintings is how these guys get the eyes right. I mean, you look at Charles I there, and his eyes look as though he already knows what's going to happen to him.